The white belt, Saya Kamatani, defeats Mina Shirakawa in just over 20 minutes of what was, I thought, an incredible match up until the finish. I, I thought maybe uh, one of, if not the best matches in Saya Kamatani's now long reign with the white belt. Mina Shirakawa, the match of her life, continuing the uh, uh, the rise that she's had over the past several months. We've talked about her adding the figure four and building matches around that, becoming somebody who's not just, you know, a great babyface underdog, but somebody that can control a match really well. Everything was going great till Sayakamatani goes up top for the Phoenix Splash. Hits the rotation perfectly, but just isn't able to go out far enough, doesn't make any contact, goes back to the top rope to try it again, and unfortunately lands what basically was a Phoenix splash double stomp directly to the mouth of Mina Shirakawa, obviously clearly accidental, but a brutal result, basically destroying Mina Shirakawa's face. I'm sure there are more technical terms to describe what happened, but it was horrifying to look at. Saya Kamatani gets the win. She's obviously emotional afterward. Mina Shirakawa uh, the promo backstage with her, just her mouth all ajar and <laughs> teeth going different directions, uh, cutting just an incredibly emotional promo. Um, it's a shame because this f- felt to me like even though she was going to lose, it was going to be a huge launching pad for Mina Shirakawa. That's been delayed. Obviously, she's going to miss some time, if not significant time, uh, recuperating. But when she does come back, the only silver lining out of this may be that I think she's going to be an even bigger star than she would have been coming out of this match. But there's going to be a lot of pain uh, and a lot of rehab before we get there. You know, I kind of brain locked there. I was going to say something funny, but I don't have to. That was a hell of a, I don't know. I was going to try to break it up with a joke there. And then I couldn't really think of one that fit just because Mina Shirakawa is going to come out of this as a bigger star. It's not going to hurt her whatsoever, missing any of the time off. It's actually only going to help. It doesn't help stardom, but it does help her because her going away, even for a little bit to get all fixed up whenever they hit the video on her returning, it's going to be a big deal. And that means we're probably, she when she does come back, we're going to get her in Kamitani again. I would be very happy with that after watching this match because they were perfect together. As you mentioned, not only did Shirakawa step up, Kamitani had a great match up until the end. And, you know, hey, look, that mouth may have taken some damage on that first one where she came down and missed. You know, a f- part of her foot did get very close to her face. Now, I'm not sure because of the camera angle how much of it did. But we know the second time she came down, how much of that foot ended up hitting her in the face. And, you know, Phoenix, Eagles, Claws, Predators, ripping up faces. It happens. It happens. And it happens in pro wrestling. And in some ways, maybe cosmically, it's the best thing that could have happened to Shirakawa because her toughness level being ratcheted up, her wrestling level being ratcheted up, her pain threshold being ratcheted up. I mean, this whole thing actually in some ways fits in perfectly with everything that's been going on with her. So she comes up a little bit short in a great battle where she was doing a bulk of the damage, especially early on when after her knee right away knew what she needed to do and then ultimately coming up just a little bit short. Not only that, on that last move, not only getting beat, but getting hurt. You know, I think that can only play into her comeback and making her an even bigger, bigger star. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. It's, it's a terribly painful way to get there and not one that was planned. Um, but I think that will be the end result. Uh, just a couple other things I've seen. I mean, it's the Internet, so people are stupid. <laughs> Sai Kamatani did it. <laughs> it is true. It's an evergreen statement. Uh, Sai Kamatani didn't mean to hurt Mina Shirakawa. Oh, cool. Things happen. Things happen in wrestling. It doesn't mean she's a bad wrestler. It doesn't mean she's a dangerous wrestler. Things happen in professional wrestling. People get hurt. I think it, in hindsight, maybe the only thing um, that would have been a better decision would be instead of going up again uh, to land the Phoenix, going up and just doing a straight 450 
which she does sometimes on non-pay-per-view shows, still looks spectacular. Um, you know, there's probably less of a chance of of the the feet to the face on that. But you know, either way, she's screwed because if she just goes for the pin after that miss Phoenix Splash, people are gonna rip that to shreds. So she goes up, tries to hit the move that she always hits well, and something just goes wrong. You know, it it, it is what it is. Um, to your point, Saya Kamatani had a great showing up until then, and as someone that has largely been kind of forced to learn on the job, you know, we talked about how the the rapid improvement she showed between the the couple months shutdown and then when start, you know, when everything restarted a couple years ago and Stardom started running shows, and she immediately became uh, someone who was getting a push, and then you know the the road to her winning the white belt, um, you know, for someone. Obviously, a completely different background, but in some ways, you kind of almost equate her to Shinsuke Nakamura in that they maybe skipped some of the steps that other people did. And there's some sort of learning on the job in main event situations. It's a small thing, but I look at when this feud, this rivalry with Shirakawa started a month or two ago, Shirakawa was giving Saya Kamatani dragon screw leg whips. And I don't know that I've seen a wrestler, particularly a wrestler from Japan, take these dragon screw leg whips worse than Saya Kamatani did. It was, it looked really bad, almost to the point of being comical. And I was like, Oh, I wonder, I wonder what this is going to look like, you know, the next time she takes this or the next time she takes one uh, and has to do it in a big match. She got hit with several dragon screws here and it looked phenomenal. She sold them as well as anybody does. So it's another sign of, uh, of her under pressure, um, you know, improving. And so I just I hope this isn't something that, you know, she carries too much with her, this injury to Shirakawa. I hope that, you know, she's able to overcome it as far as doing this move, the Phoenix Splash again, um, you know, because she's got a big match coming up in a couple of weeks. I, I fully believe she will. Um, but just a really unfortunate thing that obviously it sucks for Shirakawa. It sucks that she's got to go through this. And it's really a shame that such a great match is going to be largely forgotten due to the finish. Just, you know, I, I know you were in the 80s, you know, with me a little bit here. It was it Berlin with no more tears. I know we're going to get tears when she comes back, but I hope it's not too emotional of a story. And What and is her... your problem with crying and wrestling? I think we need <laughs> just... more of it. This is the, this is the, it's the Tanahashi Nakamura argument from the first few years of this podcast in 2022 is you and I differing on crying and wrestling. Now, I love me, it. I'll look, I'll give it to Mina Shirak. When she comes back, she should be emotional coming back would fit her character. Personally, the Venus herself and all that stuff. But God, if Kamatani feels bad, no way she should be. Um, she should be happy about the fact she hurt her, but you know what? These things happen to wrestling. These are the risks we put ourselves through. She just learned something there. This is my 10th defense. I'm going to hold on to this thing forever. And if I need to crush your face, uh, hey, I'm sorry. That's going to happen if that's what puts me on top. More of that, please. No feeling bad for this, Miss Kamatani. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see when they do have the the eventual rematch that that has to happen, sort of how that's positioned. It, it, you know, is Kamatani like, you know, is she conflicted going into that match and storyline? Or is she like, yeah, I'm, I'm over being upset and it happened. It's wrestling. Watch out. It might happen again. You know, it, it'll well, be interesting. That'll to just see. depend on where her character is at the time, yes. because Shirakawa comes back. She's a baby face. So if Kamatani comes back that way, I can see a big crying session of, oh, God, then, hey, look, let's do this match again some way. But if Kamatani's a heel, I mean, it that's simple. Shirakawa just comes well, yeah. back and obviously just kicks the shit out of her or does something. I mean, at least I wouldn't that too. Maybe they should get like a different producer to give the show a different kind of feel. Actually, actually yes. Maybe okay. they should put the cameras upside down. How about that? You know what they need is black and white. Or put him black and white, Jared. Make him <laughs> so- look as gold and gray as possible. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, Jared, can you put Vinny upside down? There we go. <laughs> This is what's going to make this show better. We're going to review Rampage with Vinny on a different camera angle. Put it in an angle, though, Jared. Like, uh, yeah, add black and white. Now we're talking. Vinny, can you spike your hair up next week? (laughs) Yeah, just put your hair up in a spike. (laughs) We'll we'll have you doing the show upside down, hanging from the ceiling like a bat. The Vin Man. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions 
of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.